Board Marshal, the student athletes are John Elmore and Idine Peneva. And we'll await Coach Dan D'Antoni. <laughs> and he will begin with an opening statement. Very good, very good West Virginia team. And uh, they should be proud of the way they played. Carter is an exceptional player. He kind of determines a lot of things out there. Very strong. I congratulated him, told him how good he was, and then told him to get the hell out of here. So <laughs> tired of playing him, tired of seeing him. He's tough. So uh, proud of our kids. It was a great journey. They've lifted uh, Marshall basketball a lot further than it's been. And, ever. This is the first time we've ever been in here. And it's kind of like getting in, uh, you go to the pitching cages, you know, and start to 60 mile an hour and you swing and you feel pretty good about yourself and get to the 70 and feel pretty good in the 80s. Maybe it takes you two or three swings, figure it out. You get in the 90s, it takes some time to get used to it. And uh, they throw 90 mile an hour at you and you just have to uh, get used to it. It obviously hurt us that uh, Williams' kid went down. That was most of our size. And, uh, uh, but uh, we'll be back next year. I think you'd be surprised what we'll do in one year. And we want to keep it at a national level. And this was a great start by some guys that, like I always said, you get in a car, it was a hell of a car ride. And I enjoy that we stop now. But we'll get back on that floor pretty soon and enjoy playing basketball together again. Questions for the student athletes? Doug Smock, Charleston Gazette Mail. Uh, John, what did they do best against you tonight, and what problems did you have that may may have been of your own doing? Uh, like Coach D'Antoni said, credit to them. Uh, they're a heck of a team. Uh, they get after it. Uh, I think their physicality got to us a little bit. Uh, they got quick hands, hand check, uh, ride you up the floor. But they, they defend, man. They trap. They run all kinds of different guys at you. They're real versatile. So. Uh, Credit to them, they did a good job. But uh, like Coach said, we're going to go back to the drawing board, and I think we'll come back better than ever. Any other questions for the student athletes? <clears throat> Chuck Landon, Herald Dispatch. To everybody, Danny and, and Ideen and John, what can you, what still can you take away from this? Well, we have to have we, our ball movement wasn't good enough. We weren't cutting hard enough. You know, a lot of times this team, when you're setting up, uh, we're, some teams you can kind of jog over where you want to be. Can't do it with this team. This team, you have to sprint every second all the time. And uh, I think what we learned is that in order to get a ball movement, you have to space faster. And uh, we were too slow. We were coming up into the play and really had got into space. And then when we did, we stood and watched the ball instead of making strong cuts and moves against a team that's not going to let you set up. You're not going to be able to set up and run offenses against this team, especially the way they played tonight because there was a full press the whole time. And uh, the other thing is we'll probably have to get in the weight room some. I mean, as, as far as I go, Coach said I got to hit the weight room, man. That's, that's probably the uh, – you know, I got to emphasize the, the most this offseason, just get my weight up and get stronger. Same thing with the Dean. Uh, like you said, they're a physical team, uh, like you saw. Uh, we're just going to have to go back to the drawing board. I mean, the old saying, you got to get bigger, faster, stronger. That's what our guys are going to do. Uh, we've got a great strength coach, great staff. Uh, and then we got the city of Huntington, the state support. Uh, as you've seen, we kind of turned Marshall basketball around, and we're heading in the right direction. but. We're not satisfied yet. Uh, as you've seen, Conference USA has came into the NCAA tournament the past four years in one game. So uh, we play in a tough conference, but we think we're right there at the top of the nest. So we're going to keep rolling and uh, hopefully keep improving. Any other questions for the student athletes? OK. Thank you, guys. Good job, guys. And we'll continue with Coach D'Antoni.
Any further questions for Coach? <laughs> Y'all want to go home, don't you? <laughs> so do I. Anything okay. at all, boys, I'm turning this down now if you don't want me now. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> well, Doug, you can ask me the hard question. I don't care. Should we play West Virginia? Is that what you want to no, ask? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to lose. We should play. Nobody I mean, loses. Okay, game. Coach. Doug Smock, Charles and Gazette Mail. Uh, I mean, it looked like at times you couldn't catch a break. You had the injury. You had people slipping on the fall floor and – you know, unfortunately. We didn't play well. We didn't play hard as we're going to have to play. We're not used to – listen, you got to give him credit. They're tough. And and we, we're not used to it. But I'll, I'll say this. The game that we played should be played all the time. We would be better. It's better for West Virginians. Nobody lost this game. We won. We had the passion of West Virginia people there, passion of Marshall people there. It's what life's about. We came up on the short end. We're not going to always be at the short end. We were a lot shorter on the real short end about four years ago. You know, it, we, we're climbing up that rope. And uh, we're going to climb. Those boys will be back in the gym two weeks. And then uh, you got to give Carter his due. Uh, they, thank goodness he's graduating. You know, I have to face him again. He's really, really good. But I'm proud of our team. I'm proud of our fans. I'm proud of where we are. I'm proud of my staff. And you learn. You learn. You get better, right? It's a basketball game. It ain't, it ain't life. It's basketball. And we're going to get better. And what? How many teams are playing now? 16 in the top round? 16. I remember playing in the top 200. And you know what? It ain't bad getting to the top 16. And nobody's a loser once you make this NCAA tournament. All good teams. Anything else for Coach? Yep. I know my family's hit me. They said I did good. Sam Vecini for The Athletic. Uh, you mentioned that this game should happen every year. What in your mind is holding it back from happening every year? Well, you know what's holding it back. I'm not going to, you know. All right, I, I'm going to play. I'm not just going to go up there, though. We have a good program. We made the NCAA tournament. We made a first-round win. We're a legit program. So play us. Just that simple. I, you know, whatever, whatever reason they have, I don't know. You know, maybe they have good reason. I don't see it, but maybe they do. Maybe they do. Anything else for Coach? <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Thank you all. It's a great year. Judy, thank you.